Hello everybody, it's Fortune here from Crydev. Uh, some of you might also know me as Mark. Decided to put together a few video tutorials um, in a series trying to cover some aspects of the questions I've been getting asked by PM about uh, the Apache Avionics system video I put up. A lot of people got in touch to ask how the mapping system was done and how the waypoints were done. So I thought now would probably be a good time to try and sort of show how that was accomplished to some extent, especially now that we've now got scale form in uh, the free SDK. So it's perfectly possible to use it in, in CryEngine 3 now as well as CryEngine 2. Um, so let's just jump into CryEngine 3 quickly and I'll demonstrate briefly what I'm going to try and show how to make. So let's jump in game here. What we're going to have is a handheld mapping system. I don't know how <laughs> useful that'll be for most people, but the actual concept can be used for a myriad of different things from, from this onwards to even putting up weapon systems with maps or proximity sensors or showing projected ammo counts on, we on futuristic weapons and all that kind of stuff. So this technique will probably do you for all those kinds of things if you want to make something a bit more complicated out of it but i thought i'd start with something fairly simple um as you can see the map is is handheld and it rotates the player and it's going to move the player as well and on the map we've also got a waypoint um in this example i'm just going to show you how to make a map with one single waypoint which can be repositioned all over the map and it can be turned on and off as well so you can use it to lead the player through various parts of a level or whatever you want, really. But anyway, um, let's just continue with the example. I'm going to show you how this works. Let's see, we're approaching the first waypoint. Maybe I should run a bit, it's taking a bit of time. Okay, and you see, as we get to the first waypoint, there's another waypoint pops up. And it can be labeled, so you can actually add add the waypoint description or whatever other text you want to add to that. And as you'll see in a minute, it can also be hidden. So you can get rid of it when you don't need to and just leave a play of the map. I'm actually going to go into fly mode for a minute just to show you this map. Now there's a reason behind this because it's a lot easier to try and work out what is going on with your flash file when, when everything maps up one pixel to to one square meter on the map so as you can see if i fly over the, the, t the 14 there there's a slight coloration difference with the tod which is causing that so as you can see we're above the 13 and flying over the nine and the five and so on and so on and so on so it's basically a fully functional map system with a fully functional waypoint which you can use however you like really and expand on it. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do the, the handheld map because obviously that's just a, a matter of weapon exporting the same as, as there's already some tutorials on that on, Cry, on CryEngine 3. Um, it's quite easy. I'll include the max file with this tutorial with a rig, like which is basically the SCAR rig just with the SCAR stripped out and, and this pad in place. Um, I'm going to include all the files with it anyway, so if, if you don't understand anything because I speak too fast or, or I don't cover things in enough detail, you can also just look for all the files and see what's going on and try and work it out for yourself and I'll also try and help in the thread as much as I can when I've got time to. Um, anyway, I think that's probably about it for the explanation of what this is. Um, I think the first step now is to is we're going to create our first entity in Lure, which is a waypoint entity. Uh, I'm going to cut the video into several sections, mainly because my bandwidth is terrible and uploading a two hour video is going to take me probably about three years. So um, I think the first section will we'll be just covering this explanation and we'll also cover how to make the waypoint Lure. Uh, second one will probably be going over creating the flash file, which you can see on the screen. Um, talking about how to line up the mapping and everything like that so it's it's meter to pixel accurate and then finally we'll be creating the actual mapping lure system which is which is the bit that you can see on screen at the moment which rotates around and everything and I'll try and go over it in as much detail as I can anyway that's it for now um, 
I'm going to start the next tutorial session in a minute, so join me then.